right, everybody, welcome to Tree Simulator 2019. Uh, actually, this is the third or the fourth beta test for Train Simulator 2019. Trains Simulator 2019 Multiplayer Surveyor Edition. Uh, there were no features added in this beta test. Really what we were doing was benchmarking the extent of the server that we can push it to. And the way we were doing that was by placing tons of trees. There was about 20 of us in this beta test. And we were just placing as many assets as we could all at one time just to see how far we could go before we got that high latency error in the top and uh, we weren't allowed to place any more assets. So this is something that's really integral in beta testing to see what the limits are. And uh, this is, again, still an early beta test. Uh, no new features added in this one, but there are a couple things that I wanted to show you since I couldn't get a good clean video from the previous video, or the previous beta test. So this is sort of a, a part two just to show you a couple things that we might have missed in the first one. I forgot to mention that the high latency in the top right corner does not prevent you from continuing to place assets permanently throughout the, the game. It's just a temporary thing to let the server catch up. Uh, once it's caught up, then you can, again, start placing assets and continuing on with your build. And that's why we were testing the hardware for. So aside from placing tens of thousands of trees each, I wanted you guys to be able to actually see in motion what it looks like to have multiple people on the server and what kind of chaos is being bred here in this uh, complete pandemonium of uh, asset creation here. Again, we're still using only a handful of assets and there's just all kinds of crazy stuff happening. But again, we're trying to push the server to its limits and uh, in doing so, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. So in this clip here, you can see a couple different players uh, chasing each other down on the track and uh, what happens. There's a little bit of lag there, but you can see how different players are able to interact and uh, Mason's camera there flying around and see what some other people are doing. Uh, right now, I just wanted you guys to get a look at some of the stuff that I didn't actually have video of in the last one. Uh, and the other thing that I want to showcase to you guys is the combined driver surveyor feature, which I touched on. Uh, in this clip, you can see that I am controlling this locomotive here and I switched over to surveyor and I'm going to place down some track. I tried to connect it to the track that I was driving on, but it wouldn't allow me to do that. But I just want you to be able to see how easy it is to, to be in driver mode and then to go ahead and make some modifications to the route right in front of the train. And whenever you're ready, you can hop back into that train, take control over it. Uh, you can delete the train, you can move it around. This is just a super useful feature that I think even somebody who's just playing alone would be able to make a ton of use of because you can have a train running in the background while you're making adjustments to your scene. And, and that's just a really cool feature to have. That's, that's gonna be great. Uh, and as I had said in my last video, it's gonna be super useful for people who are working on huge builds. So you can almost do an active beta test of track arrangements and that sort of thing. Um, b before you, you actually commit a whole map and, and call it a day. But that's all I've got to report on this particular beta test. As features are added going forward, I'll bring you guys in uh, and hopefully get some more clips. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and if you have any questions for the developers, I'll try to relay that to them in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.